welcome back to our YouTube channel. Live and direct. <laughs> if you are a new subscriber, welcome, welcome. welcome My welcome. name is Imaki Ezogulano. As, as you all know, I'm no other than Olumide Ogulano, aka Saint Lumi. Never forget Ganja. Come on, babes, come on. Why you looking at me like that? I want to find them. So, like we're saying, <laughs> um, a lot of people ask a lot of questions about us. How this, that, a lot of people ask a lot of questions about relationship. Oh, how do you know she was the one? What did you see? What made you know that, oh, she was the one? What did she see in you? What did you yeah, see in her? And I've, I've gotten a lot of this question because everybody that knows him knows that he was a you know now. That's I've not said it several times. Like wait, he was a Yoruba demon to the core. Come, come. So people Shum ask me sometimes that how did I know so, that she was the one? I mean, because they don't even ask me as much as that. They ask me all the time, like, why did you marry this guy? Do you understand? Because how did you know that this demon was going to become, you know, what? something better for you? So, with yeah. that sweet boy now. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like a lot of people have a lot of challenges and then I think people put themselves on not, under a lot of pressure because everybody just wants something perfect, something Oh, pristine, you know, you just want it to be spotless. But then, I mean, we are, at the end of the day, we are all just we're human all beings. Human. And exactly. then we have our flaws, and then we have what makes us really stand out. So, and of course, like, everybody has, like, that list. Uh, maybe not everybody, but at least I know most women have that list. That list that tells you, oh, this is the guy I want. So if you have not exhausted uh, uh, that list. Then one more thing, see, all these ladies, you put it, oh, I want bearded guy, I'll see. Sometimes many people don't end up with what they really, really want. I'm not showing shades right now, okay? But I feel like a lot of people physically, you guys, you have like a mental fantasy of oh, it must be this, it must be that, it must I be that. Maybe so you, if you, you ladies, challenge me, challenge, challenge me direct. Not a good trip, Kara. So let me even ask you, baby. Let's start. Let's kick it off. I know that. Yeah, we're married now. I'm wondering. Yeah, I mean, I'm here. Wait, yeah, what's with I'm this yeah. sudden question? But I have a question for you. No, I, I want people to hear it. So, I, I ask. So my question is, what, what's like your definition of like your perfect guy, your spec, as as we call it these days, your spec? <laughs> what did you? What really drew you to a guy? <laughs> what were you expecting? Here. No, yes, let's cast ourselves. This is what the channel is for. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, let me hear. It. Um. Okay. Well. <laughs> First and foremost, let me just say this, money was never on my list and it's not because I didn't want money or anything. I think instead of money being on that list, comfortability was the word for me. So I just wanted somebody that would make me comfortable. Anybody that knows me knows I don't like over the top things, like I'm not materialistic. Oh, you don't? No, I don't. No, you're not materialistic. I'm materialistic not. is like an extreme end, but... I'm not. I don't like over the top things. I'm a very simple girl, you can see. Very simple. What are you feeling like? Because why? Makeup and stuff. Right? It's not about the makeup actually. You're feeling yourself because you have got because you're what you're a natural fine girl. I woke up like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, that was not it. It was just like I just my whole. I think my my spec was of course physical was it for me. So physically, what was your spec? Yeah, I liked you know guys that had beards, you no know, beard gang. Sweet boy, I'm a girl. <laughs> Sweet beard gang, you know, with a nice smile. Wow. Somebody that wasn't, you know, too. I didn't, I didn't care about size or whatever. He just had to look like cute. You know, fine boy, you get what I mean? Just fine. I'm a sucker for fine boys. See, ask anybody. I am a sucker for fine. Even he knows I'm a sucker for fine boy. Like even up to now, if I see a fine boy, I'll be like, ah, baby, see this fine boy, and he looks at me like. Okay, waiting, waiting, waiting for, for Simon. Simon. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess that that's just that was just it for me. Mm -hmm. Somebody that will make me comfortable, that will make me happy, and then. Sweet, so physically, it was more tall, dark, handsome. Food. No, tall, dark, handsome. Yes, mm -hmm. tall, dark, handsome. Yes, like but not, but not the size or whatever. Just you need to be tall, dark, cute. 
girl, I mean, of course, you must not smell. That one, is, if you smell, just get the hell out of my side. Wow, so, baby. yeah, wow. no smell wow. whatsoever. Wow. And then, yeah, wow. that was just it. Mm. See, simple, mm. simple is it. But what, what I was trying to draw from there is that she didn't really get like so. Nobody really ticks all the boxes, but then if someone ticks like a few of your boxes, I think that's safe. Yeah. Because what, I'm not a beard gang guy, I mean, I mean, look at me, baby face, <laughs> smooth, smooth face, I still look like I'm what, I don't know. I don't care, vampire, that's your business. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that. Moving, moving on, on to why we are here. Yeah, why we are here. Yeah. Anyway, so, how did I know he was the one? Basically, um, because he was a Yoruba demon, like we have said in our videos before, um, I was very, very skeptical about being in a relationship with him. In fact, when we started being together, I, in fact, I told myself like this wouldn't lead anywhere. Just, mm -hmm. just play around. Yes, in case you didn't know, mm -hmm. I, I just felt like this was not going to lead anywhere. So I was just going to play around and move on. But yeah, he came and so, so I was a play thing. Yeah, he was. He was. He was my next target for fun. Get what I mean? Wow. <laughs> but yeah, I think the first thing the first thing he did that made me feel like oh this guy might actually be the one for me is he he took my safety as a priority for him. So even when we we're just talking and nothing had started going on, he took my safety as a priority. Like every time he would ask me if I was home from work and like I was working on the island and living on the island, but then he would still ask me. Sometimes he would come from his office so he used to work we both used to work in bi mm -hmm. but he would come from his office he would trek from his office and come to my office to pick me up and follow me to the bus stop make sure i had entered the bus still you. call me make sure <laughs> i had gotten home because when i get to the bus stop i have to trek you know into my estate so he would make sure i had gotten home sometimes he even used to go as far as following me home and you guys get this if you live in lagos he used to live at lucky phase one i lived at abungi that's like after jack on day so imagine with the traffic and everything he would follow me home mm -hmm. and then make sure i got him home see me off to my gate make sure i've gone inside and then before he will not go back so yeah he took my mm -hmm. Safety and the yeah, Sometimes I just, I just feel, if I think about those moments, and I just, I feel like I was jazzed or something. <laughs> <laughs> but then I will still go the extra mile for you. You know that I always do. Yeah, baby. But yeah, so yeah. So for for me, I think let me even start with. So I, I asked that question about spec and all that. So for me, I was. I was not really particular about looks though, but then in my spec in my spec in my head, because everybody has like a specification in their head for what they want their partner to look like. So fine, sexy, figure eight. But then nobody can really have all of that. But then she had a few of that going with that. I mean, at that time when we started talking, she was in a um, beauty pageant competition, and then I was like, oh, so I used to tell my friends that, oh my babe, my babe. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a bragging okay. rights for me. I was like, oh, oh. My, yeah. my babe now, she, ah, she didn't want When I attempted to be a model, oh, I feel woefully anyways. No, I feel like you didn't really feel. I feel like, I actually, I was impressed at the fact that you actually put in the effort. I mean, well, I did. I lost a lot of weight for that pageant. Yes. And then, I think I was so nervous that I was not going to win. So I didn't even go for the final. Yeah, and I, I, I kept on telling her, just go. Just no. go. <laughs> I think she came third place or something. But she was not Yeah, present. I came third place. Just and then Just I also go. won Miss Photogenic, exactly. but I didn't go, she so didn't they didn't go. give it to me. Exactly. And then I was like, I was always encouraging at that time, just go for this final, just go for this final. But then that's aside. So it was a bragging right for me. I was like, I always, I used to tell my friends, oh, oh, my girlfriend, oh, she's in pageant, yeah, 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 I'm on the bed, fine. So, <laughs> ah. so, yeah. So if I was not fine, I wouldn't even have made the cut. No, not really. So, beauty was important, but it was not a deal breaker okay so I, I looked out for other things i looked out at the way you relate with other people because i'm a people person and i need to see i studied the way you related with like other people how you treated people that were not particularly in your space and i felt like she just really had a really beautiful heart like she was very accommodating i think her name Omao. It's, it's, it's really, really. What does that name mean again? May my, may oh, my goodness, no. may my goodness, not kill me, right? Yes. I, I feel like so. 
she was just really very natural with every other person very accommodating very welcoming very she was in touch with like everybody not forcing it so people that she didn't even really need to although she doesn't like greeting people she doesn't like it. <laughs> she doesn't like this people. And then me, yeah, I agree like the whole world. I don't know if it's a bad habit. I don't yeah, know. You guys like she doesn't like honestly, it. I she don't know if it's a bad habit. So when we take like strolls and shit and, and I see people, me, I greet people I don't even know. Like, I'm just she's like, like, why are you greeting? I, it's it's my thing. I just like it. You know, like, you know how when you're growing up, your parents beat you like can't you greet? Oh my, that was me. Like my mom was tired. <laughs> I don't greet anybody. I'm like See, the two people I hate working with in my life, my elder brother and Olumide. In fact, my younger sister too, like everybody here was shy in my family. I just feel like it's so basic. They greet all I mean, time. just greet people. But then, apart from she not greeting people, but when you now see her interact with these people that she doesn't really greet, you'll be really amazed because you'll be like, ah, this person that you don't greet, you guys are vibing so much. I'm, I'm like, okay. So, I'm a people person and then I'm particular about how people, how people treat people. It's a thing for me. So if I see like you treat people like trash, it's actually a red flag for me. So that means that you are only treating me special because you are acting. So if someone in you that you don't know that you are not supposed to actually even consider comes your way, you will just actually push that person off and treat them like trash. So I'm a people person. I'm she knows. I'm a very very, very people person. Very social. I like to interact with people and get to know them one on one, that type of thing. And then I needed someone that will understand that. And I didn't need someone that when I'm trying to socialize with people, the person will take offense. That okay, why are you talking to this person? That this and then I won't lie, our communication went a very long way in making the whole thing seamless. So at some point, we'll talk about this some other time, but at some point we're actually counting our posters. <laughs> fun. Fun. <laughs> it was we that was like do. we still do because we'll talk about some other time, but we still yeah, yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, when we were dating, man, was she was way awesome. ahead. She had like I mean, yeah, she well, had like ninety two When, when we were something. dating, I had a lot of toasters. Like what? But now that we are married, fun. Topic for another day. Topic for another day. Awesome. Anyway, <laughs> so another, another thing that made me know that only was the one was. This may not apply to everybody, right? But he took me back to church and he was, I don't know, let me explain. So before I met Olumide, I hadn't gone to church in over two years. This is and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. The Yoruba demon took you back to church. Yeah. Wow. You get it. Wow. Okay, so I'm, we started talking in 2015 mm -hmm. when he took me back to church. I served NYSE 2014. Right, twenty. I mean, um, yeah, twenty fourteen yeah, into twenty fifteen, mm -hmm. and then I also, you know, was graduating that twenty thirteen year and all of that. And I didn't go to church. Of course, I didn't go to church in school. Like that was final year, and like I'm a big girl. You get what I mean? Bad girl. You get what I mean? Bad girl. I wasn't going to church, <laughs> <laughs> but I was signing. If you know about Cup University, you have to sign that you came to church. So I was signing. I was going to church, but I wasn't going to church. You know what I mean? I hope, so, I hope your father is listening to this. Oh well. I hope he's watching this. Oh well. A postal egg will be just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shave my father, okay? I won't take that from So yeah, I think that was a major thing for me because I needed that. I needed that. I needed it so much. Wow, I had wow. really I did. I had grown so apart from and listen i was growing up i was in choir like i was a chorus star so i had grown so apart from the lord sing, i needed sing. that push. sing to me baby i love you i love you okay sorry about <laughs> so yeah like i really needed that push and he gave me that only they would just say ah oh, babe just let's go to church you know it wasn't something so gege for him it was just like a suggestion and he's, it's not like he made it compulsory he would just say how far let's go to church if i say i don't feel like he would let it go but when i saw that he was willing to just you know take his time and encourage me not push me not force me i loved it and introduced me to church not in a way of religion or denomination he introduced me to church as Let's go and worship God. You get what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter where you are. Let's just go to church. So that was it. Like, yeah, I think that played a huge role for me. Mm. 
Yeah. Another thing was how he was very expert. You know how they say, give me assurance. <laughs> and they gave me top notch assurance. Listen, babes, if that man is not giving you assurance, he's not the one for you. Wow. Any man that wants you, that wants to spend the rest of his life with you, is ready to assure you that he wants to spend the rest of his life with you. I'm not saying another man, another woman's husband, though, that is assuring you that he wants to spend another wow, baby, the rest of you're, his life with you. You're throwing shades up. Whoever owns that shit, <laughs> Not another man's husband, uh, but like a guy right. that wants to spend the rest of his life with you and is determined. And you've seen that, okay, this person is, you know, ambitious because Olumide was so ambitious. He knew what he wanted from life. He, I don't know how to explain it. Yes! He knew what he wanted from life. He didn't want an extra vegan life. He just wanted a happy life, a peace life where mind. yeah, yeah, he just and wanted yeah. peace of mind actually. And he kept telling me that that I don't know, Sha, but because I was going for peace of mind, but then I was searching for peace of mind with someone that had what 92 stars at the point in time. That doesn't sound like peace Some of mind. Say, but then I think what yeah, conquered that was yeah, another thing that made us move past that and we're able to do that was just trust. Yes. Oh, Trust. can't overemphasize you guys. Yes. We like cannot. I tr- like I trusted her. I was like, I, I gave her, I put all that body on her to tell her that, see, I know like the whole world is wanting you, mm-hmm. but I trust you not to do me dirty. So, like, so I always told her that, that I, I trust you, I completely trust you. If you say you are going anywhere, you are going there. If you say you are going anywhere, you are going there. If you say you are doing this, you are doing that. So I just, I gave yeah. her that mantle to say, See, I trust you. Just do you. Don't do me dirty because I'm for real. So trust went a really long way. See, yeah. I cannot overemphasize. Like, if you're with somebody that you don't trust, you need to reevaluate what you're doing. You can't go into a relationship, a marriage. You can't date somebody and you can't beat your chest and say, "Oh, if my guy says I'm here, that's where that's I'm. where he is." Like you can't live your life doubting where your partner is or that, what your partner is doing. You are not safe. Enough. You won't even feel safe. You won't come on. It's bad. Don't do it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> then I think another thing I found myself myself doing um, when we were dating was I became so creative with writing poems. I like I started writing like poems oh, for yeah. her. And then I was like, so I was doing it, I was doing the poems in like in series. So I would do I would do like part one and then I'll write at the end of the poem, I'll write like oh to be continued. And then like in two weeks' time, yes. I will update it and then I will still write to be continued. Oh, the poems were so crazy. It was lovely. I, I think one day we'll probably read out the poems. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was good. It was and beautiful. She had to frame it. It's on one of our walls. Yes, yeah. I did. I framed it yeah. because it was everything to me. Um, I think that that actually brings me to like the next point that assured me was that the only thing was expressive. Yeah. And when I say expressive, I mean hundred percent. Like if there was anything I did that upset him, that annoyed him, that he didn't like, he would tell me pronto. He would tell me immediately. If there was something I did that he loved, he would tell me, "Oh, I love this." You know, please, if I was please continue, please continue. Please continue. <laughs> like if I was okay, so like we said in the other video that like I was growing up, so he used to call me Smolly and all of that. But if there was something I did that you know felt to him like I was growing, I was getting better, he would tell me, "Oh, you know, you're making progress. I love that. I love that you're putting effort. I want to marry you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. We can make this work." See, at this point, let me just say, men are very direct, okay? There's no man that doesn't know what he wants in this life. I'm telling you, if the man wants to cheat, rest assured, he already knows that what he wants in life is to cheat. Get me? If the man wants to be with one woman, be rest assured that this man knows he wants to be with one woman. Temptations will come. Distractions will come definitely, but men are not like women, and this is not throwing shade to my ladies. Okay, I'm just speaking facts. We are sometimes indecisive. However, men are not like that. Men know what they want. So if a man is expressive towards you, not somebody else's husband. You keep stressing this, not somebody else's husband. Yes, because <laughs> there, are, there are married men that go around and say, ah, 
Ah, do not care. I like you. Mm. Why are you using my sister's name? Oh, sorry. Reflex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Please. Please, I'm so sorry. Wow. Ah, for that care, I like you. For that care for the night. Too. Exactly. Ah, yeah. uh, Reflex. <laughs> for that care, it's not all this husband I'm talking about. Oh, wow. I'm talking about a single ready to marry guy, yeah. you know, that wants you. Oh, my, that man will be expressive. No. Um, so when it comes to this knowing and building how you get to where you are, there, there are like a lot of things involved. So there are stages where you build your friendship and then there are stages where you get to trust each other and then just the love just grows. So many of you want to jump from building that friendship and then just jump just into, jump into love. love or sex. It doesn't really work, doesn't like, work that. like that. Even leave sex out of it because sometimes sex is not like a determinant because if you really want sure. to be that person, sex is not going to break it for you. That's, I, I don't know, but it's not going to break it. But you see that friendship that you have to build before you guys now get to the place where you are so comfortable with each other in love. This is where the real work is. This is like the foundation of everything friendship. that you guys will have you guys will keep for life if you haven't watched our video on friendship now will be the best time friendship, friendship. Is, like don't, so that don't was that was it. that was one more thing that made me know that okay this is it i, I felt like i just felt like i was with my friend we could talk about my anything nigga. yeah my no, nigga. nigga. <laughs> we could talk about everything and everything i mean we're talking about people that were toasting us or people that what were interested else? In us. so what else can you not talk about oh, there's that's something that's something i used to ask him that time right I used to ask him, babe, are you crushing on anybody? Yeah, and, and I'll be like, him. yeah, yeah. I oh, like, I like, babe, I like this. I like this. I like this. He yeah. like the way she does this. He like the way she does that. And I'll be like, okay, so um, how do you feel about her? Like, we're actually, maybe we'll talk about this some other time. Like, mm -hmm. we're actually expressive about those things. So you can't underestimate friendship. You, you can't. can't underestimate your communication. But yeah, I think but then so, so put in work to build the friendship before you guys now jump into oh, yeah. all the lovey dovey love because building friendship is important. That's why we are here today. The you see, you guys see us outside, we're all oh, beautiful couples, we're vibing, but then it's it's all the friendship work that we have that built put in together. And is, make no mistake, we continue to work on that friendship. It's, it never it's ends. an endless process, it doesn't end here, yeah. it's an endless process. So it continues but then once you have like a solid foundation then you are good to go yeah so in summary i guess how you know he or she is the one is friendship expression assurance of course the looks but the looks are not the looks the looks are the not looks. A determinant. Don't, don't mislead people baby the looks, <laughs> the looks? Okay. okay yeah i pass Make sure. i pass i pass for a fine boy yeah ah, no you don't pass baby you're fine I don't settle for less. Yeah, but then I don't have the beard. Oh boy. Oh, how are you? Oh, baby. Who wants to seduce me? Sweet nice. Fine boy. I will kiss you. Fine. So, yeah, don't settle for less, but then don't make the looks, you know, your everything. Because at the end of the day, looks change. Looks change, yo. Your bed might be slim. Because when you met me, I was a size 10, 12. No, now, you're in size 8 to 10 uh -huh. because you're in a pageant. Yeah, actually, yes. So exactly. now, Let's months, mm, 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 months mm, is a 14 to 16. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm watching my weight. Don't but then worry. again, it's really. So that's why I say looks always change. Looks always change. But then okay. if you really love the person, the love and, and the friendship is there, that's never really changed. Never so changed. there's a trend going on and about that. This Sunia Sunia. I mean, you see ah, people's transformation. And he goes to school. Do you understand? You see people's <laughs> transformation. It tells you that nothing that not change is the only okay, constant guys. thing in life. So do not base your judgment based on what you can physically see right now because yeah. there's more to life. Who is that. this person here? Exactly. Right. All right. Okay, baby. Baby. Here. PG18. Here. Oh here. my goodness. Here. That's it for this video, guys. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for <laughs> Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, I guys. Thought, I thought you were about to say, don't forget the ganja. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Hit the yeah, subscribe button. Subscribe we love you. Comment you subscribed on already. Video. See, we're, we're getting it. We're getting better. We're getting better. We're getting yeah, better. Yeah, 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 yeah. We love you. Mwah. See the next video we are. Yeah, we are. Bye.